Welcome to Tales from the Outdoor Show. We'll ride the crest of the waves as we search for angling action. With a focus on key techniques, you'll learn the simplest methods for success. So come with us on our next adventure on Tales from the Outdoor Show with your hosts, Brad Deckard and Captain Kevin Favor. Welcome to Tales from the Outdoor Show. Folks, we're fishing offshore St. Augustine, Florida today, an absolute picture perfect day, beautiful sun. We had a big storm front come through last night and it's left just a pristine ocean. We're doing some bottom fishing right now as we drift over some, some rough bottom area. We've also caught some top pelagics on the free line that we're running out of the back, just a live ocean right now. I had asked Kevin on the way out here, what happens when we have a, a rainstorm like that? What does it do to the fish? And what we found is it turns them on. These fish are active and excited, and we've already caught a bunch of fish yet this morning. So stay tuned, you're gonna see some great stuff right here on Tales from the Outdoors show. Papa, no. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? But when they're looking at you from this angle, it looks skinnier than, than when you hit it, uh, get, get it from the side. There oh, oh, there he is, yeah! Now we're catching. Now we're catching. Cool, you want him? No, go ahead. Uh -oh. He's gonna be the only fish that we catch. Woo! Nice. Love that sound. You gotta love that sound. What we did is we were bottom fishing, and uh, whenever we come out here, we always catch, oh, you know, probably a hundred extra baits. And uh, while we were bottom fishing, we threw out a bunch of those baits that box right just to see if there was any striking fish around. And these okay. kingfish all of a sudden just started killing these baits we were throwing out there. So I threw one out there on a kingfish rig, right and here. sure enough, didn't take very long. I'm just glad kingfish don't jump. Nice. We don't need to gap him. Okay. Yeah. You gonna net him? I don't think we're keeping any kingfish. Okay. I've got him right by the tail and put him in the boat, take the hooks out. Let him go. Ooh, boy, I just felt a hook pull. A little junk? Yep. If he's hooked in the mouth, that's a decent fish. We use a a stinger hook on these kingfish rigs and a lot of times that back hook will catch them in the back or somewhere else besides the mouth that's why we put them on there they strike so fast they're such a fast fish yeah that initial run's always amazing how yeah, quick is. they pull that drag off actually, i actually think it's a decent fish kevin yeah i actually like it brother i don't think he's foul hooked Caught some big ones right here, that's for sure. Caught one here two years ago that was 60. Nice. Kevin, this is really the start of the season for us with, yeah, the, with the king right. mackerel run. Yeah, that's exactly right. So these fish have just moved in off the wreck and are feeding a lot of the bait fish that are that are around a lot of the pogies and menhaden that we talk about that we see on the beach. They're also out here. Yep. And boy, he fed right up on top of the, the water column. About five feet of water he hit that. That's a nice fish. It sure is. I think he is foul hooked though. Yep. Yeah, he's circling yep. now. Oh, it's a big Spanish. Look at the size oh of that gosh. Spanish. No kidding. Dude, that's a giant Spanish mackerel. Look at the Unbelievable. size. Unbelievable. I'm going to net that, Kevin, yeah, unless yeah. you think he's yeah, no, solid enough. Let's net that yeah. and get a good look at him. That is an incredible Spanish. I mean, that is about as big as I've ever seen a Spanish mackerel. Oh what an incredible gosh. Spanish mackerel. We thought we caught a big one the last time we yeah. were out here together. That's as big a Spanish as I've ever seen. Yeah. 
Look at that fish. Wow. If I can get him out of there without those hooks getting all in the net. Careful. Those hooks. Watch yep. those hooks. Look at that. Just a second. That is a Let's... giant Spanish mackerel. Good job, brother. There we go, you got him. Look at that. What a beautiful that Spanish. Fish, that fish weighs nine or ten pounds, y'all. Whenever we're slow trolling live baits, obviously you saw the baits we're using are only about this big, and they have a hard time keeping up with the boat. You want to troll somewhere in that like 1.2 to 1.8 miles per hour. I mean, it's really slow. So what we do is we use an actual sea anchor to put it out. Nice. That way it'll slow us down. Bait swim like beauties. Helpful safety tip, make sure you've tied it off before you throw it overboard. Oh, I've, lost, I've got the bottom littered with them out here. <laughs> First drop. Take long. The it's magic man. to be a trout. Caught right in front of you. Right in front of you, right here, right off. Right you right believe up underneath those that, fish are still grass. here? How about that, those trout are still here? Yeah. What are you talking about? Right off that grass, those spade fish just came right through that grass. Awesome. I'll have to wait to see them again. These fish, folks, have been here for a month. They love those pogies. Beautiful. Oh yeah, your favorite prize, the prize. See this. Colt, is there a fish at the other end? I don't know. I don't think so. I see something swimming. Nice fat trout. Nice catch, buddy. Amazing. Still amazing to me, Kevin. To drive offshore yeah. and to catch a beautiful trout like that. I know. Seven miles off the beach. Nice. Come on, hit that rascal. <laughs> He's Come on. The court. He just rubbed off of it. Ran it right across his back. <laughs> Look at him out there. Coming up against it. <laughs> Look at that, Kevin. Dad, Smacking it with her tail. The first one went after it. I think he might have taken it off the hook. Grab two, Kev. Like darn triple tail. They just love that shadow of the cork. Look at him rub it. Caressing the cork. It's killing cold. I swear Just checking it out. One. It's amazing. You got any drag on here? Yes. I... We got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Spade That's... fish and bottom fish. How fun is that, huh? Flatlining. This place is alive. It is alive. Love the ocean. He's a little bit under the boat, Colt. Just give him some pressure there. He'll come back out. Give him some pressure there. You can tighten that drag down a little bit if you want to, bud. Oh, no, don't tell me he's coming over here. Uh-oh. Damn, he's killing it. Boy. Got me. Oh, dude. <laughs> Coming up pretty pretty quick now. I think we're gonna see him soon here. Sorry, bud. Dad, gum it. Oh, I'm like I'm only over one time. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I'm trying to keep it away from you, man. 
Don't worry about it, Cole, just pull your rod back out. I'll get this, you don't lose the fish. Nice. Saved. Nice job. Big spin. Another spin. Another Put one. a flat line out. Another one. Woo! That would have sucked. Big, big Spanish. Dang it, I tried to keep him up. All right. We'll get him this time. You saw the boat, you see that? Whoa, did you see that something just shoot underneath him? Spade fish. One more time. Oh. He does not like the boat. Oh, he's foul hooked, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, I got this bread. Just grab his tail. Look at the hook in him. Look at the hook in him. Look. Just barely. No, that hook. Look oh my him. gosh, an old hook. Yeah. From some, someone else that was fishing yeah. here. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Wow, you had him, Colt. Look at that. You had him hog tied. Got this treble buried, and the wire leader's up around the jaw. Nice catch, buddy. Way to go. We just pulled in the Spanish and look at the old hook that was in there. That was a big, in fact, it's a double. It's a ballyhoo rig. It is a ballyhoo it's, rig. It's a double hook in his gut that's down inside his gill plate that's been there a while, but not, I mean, not all that long, maybe a few days, because it's got that? rust, but it's not eaten through. Look at that. And it's a double survived. hook rig and he survived and to, fed. To eat again. And yep. Big Spanish mackerel. That's, that's two this morning. Those are beautiful fish. They got some mean teeth though, man. Yeah, they got some mean teeth. Hey folks, we always try to show you great products when we run across them. And something really simple that you can think about when you're on your boat. When you've got your rods and a big heavy weight dangling, one of the products we found on the market from Sea Angler Gear are these rod wraps. Really simple piece of neoprene with a Velcro on each side. But if you wrap it around the line and the rod, pinch it together, now that weight is locked down to the rod and nobody gets bonked on the head. Same idea if you have hooks on, on offshore rigs that you're using or inshore. That rod wrap goes right around and pinches them right down to the rod so those hooks aren't swinging, especially if you're framing offshore in a, in a rough lake area. Really great, great simple product. SeaAnglerGear.com, check them out. These are really great rod wraps. Oh, there he goes. That's another big Spanish, dude. Beautiful. <laughs> you want this one, Brad? What? Why don't you get this no, 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 no. He's good, he's good, he's good. Oh, goodness. Flatline's working, boys. If we're gonna get a double header. I'm gonna pull a grouper off the bottom while he fishes okay. with that Spanish right there. So that's not we just passed over a beautiful bottom. We literally just we have one flat line out there. Yeah. Just, just yeah, he's tooling around while we're while we're bottom fishing. And we've also got a spinning rod that we're throwing the spade fish. But we can't even keep this rod out there. I mean these these big Spanish are piled in here. This is some big Spanish too. It's awesome. Can't keep it out there. I got him, Brad. You just keep fishing. I got it. I got it. You keep fishing. Okay. I was just going to lay it out here for you. Nope. I, he's not that big. I okay. Can, I can okay. tell you. Wow, look at the spade fish. Ocean is alive, boys. Awesome. What happened, Brad, you asked me yesterday. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. You asked me about what happened yesterday, and we had a really bad rainstorm come through late in the afternoon. And you're like, how does that affect the fishing? I right. always love fishing the day after we get a storm like that. I don't know what it is about it, but they it fires the fish well, up. Proof positive, they've been fired up since we got out here, Kevin. Yep. Top water and bottom. Watch your line, Colton. Yeah, I'm good. Meanwhile, you're fighting that fish, and I'm watching a dozen spade fish swimming off the bow. I'm yeah. feeling bottom hits, bumping on the bottom. You sure you don't want to net him? No, no, he's not. I ready. got him. Those are just incredibly large Spanish. Yeah. How yeah. beautiful is that fish?
Awesome. Just grabs him by the tail like it's nothing. Show you something here, what we were talking about earlier. Talking about these, these, these rigs. Oh, easy there, girl. 40 pound, seven strand wire, one knot live bait hook, and then and then a number six stinger hook. Now the, the one thing about the stinger hook, that's a 4X. That's not a 2X, it's 4X strong. You take that live bait hook, and you never want it, a lot mark. of people you see that they'll, they'll, they'll go from the bottom to the top and you don't want to do that because the fish can't breathe. Go right straight across his nostrils, side to side. And then on real big baits, I'll actually take that stinger hook and put it in Wait his back. And 90% of the time, that's the fish See, look, that actually, back that's the hook that actually catches the fish. And you put him out there. Boy, you can just see him come right to the top and nail that. Did you see it, Colt? Yeah. Watched him hit it at the top. Need net? Yeah, please. And I can get him, I just need the net to do it. Okay. Good job, bud. Another beautiful Spanish mackerel. Could, could possibly be a shark the way he's bouncing. So, okay, leave it out, bud. Go okay. underneath, Colt. Get him. Make you a movie star. I already am. <laughs> oh. That's my boy. You know what my last name is? That's right. Favor. Favor. Going up front. My mouth's wide open if you want, bro. Yep, go ahead. Oh, seeing colors. It's a kingfish. Nice fish, too. There he goes. Good job, Colt. How do you like those new reels? Oh, they're awesome. Pretty smooth, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that pen fathom is a really nice reel. Yeah, it is. I, I like the feel on that. First first year I've ever used them, they're really nice. Yes, sir, Mr. King Mackerel. Smaller than our Spanish. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Look at that. Second hook right there in the belly. Nice. Good job, Colt. That way, bud. One thing that we always talk about here on Tales from the Outdoors show, Brad, is get your kids out fishing. Absolutely. You know How I mean? important is that? It, it's it's way important. It's I mean, fantastic. You know, job, Colt. Yeah. These are memories that make a lifetime with parents and, and uh, it absolutely and is and Colt's fortunate he's been fishing with you his entire life yeah I mean, what a wonderful opportunity that is for him 
But but even it's a folks, it, a little bit. But even folks, just to have an opportunity for for a weekend outing, a Saturday yeah. afternoon outing, yep. it's so important, and the kids absolutely love it. My kids yep. talk about every trip we've been yep. on, which is numerous, and they remember the first fish they caught, and sure. they remember the time we were on the beach fishing, and it's it's great memories. I, 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 I promise you, Colt can tell you the first time he caught a trout, first sure. time he caught a redfish, sure. first kingfish he ever caught. I mean, yeah. and, and you know what else? My kids even love the bait. Yeah, they oh, love yeah. the shrimp. They love the, 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 the biggest entertainment there is. Men hating, they'll yeah. beat them to death all day long and yeah. have the time of their lives. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Kid, folks, take the kids fishing. Memories for a lifetime. Folks, we hope you enjoyed that show. That was a lot of fun offshore action. We got some bottom action, some top action, and the great news is we had some in-the-boat action with your son Colt fishing with us today. You know, Brad, we, we had a little bit of everything today. You know, we, we kind of started out bottom fishing That's right, you yeah. know, in the early morning, but as we were bottom fishing, putting out flat lines, and then we noticed those those giant Spanish Phenomenal man. Spanish. How cool was yeah, that? Hitting yeah, right up on top of the water. Awesome stuff, you know, and uh, Colt got to catch a nice kingfish, you yep. know, and it caught some bottom fish, caught some trout. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that, brother. No, and it was a beautiful day in Northeast Florida, right outside of St. Augustine. Folks, as always, take the kids fishing. I mean, here's a perfect example. Colt's been fishing with Kevin for years, and what some great memories they have along the way. He's actually getting pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. I won't say he's surpassing yet, but he's, he's gaining he's on you. He's getting there, yeah. He's gaining no on question. He's certainly a lot better looking. <laughs> But really, take the kids fishing, memories for a lifetime. Make sure you tune in to TalesFromTheOutdoorShow.com and look at all the great things. We've got the store opening soon. You're going to have some great merchandise you'll have a chance to get cool to. Stuff. As well as, like us on Facebook. There's a real cool video out there. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the 40-pound Barracuda that jumped into our boat on the last show. As always, appreciate you being with us. We'll look forward to seeing you next week on Tales from the Outdoors Show. We'll see you next week for more angling action on Tales from the Outdoor Show.